What's the worst scandal to happen at your school? The math teacher left his wife of 18 years for one of the graduating seniors. My English teacher in the 11th grade was sleeping with the whole girls basketball team in exchange for straight A's. I actually failed English that year but when that made the news my school said I didn't have to go anymore because he wasn't doing the grading properly. Girl A decided to fight girl B in class. Girl A ripped girl B's real hair out. Broke her nose. And crippled her. Girl B was sent to the emergency room. Girl A was suspended for two weeks. They were both in 7th grade. One year in exams days they were trying to add a new method to prevent cheating where a man from the administration comes to every class before every exam and collects students phones while sticking a sticker with a number on each phone and giving the same sticker to the student so he can get his phone after school without anyone taking someone else's phone that looks alike or something. This was working at first and a bit preventing cheating until one day some guy sneaked into our high school and came as the man who collects the phones while he wasn't. Had a strict dress code that if the girls broke had to change into clothes provided by the school. Turns out vice principal had a camera going in the dressing room. A student that was in the grade above me, I was a senior. My middle school banned hugging and hand holding during course changes because it blocked the hall. In protest all the 8th graders stood up and hugged each other during their lunch period. A bunch of students got detention. Made the cover of the Charlotte Observer. Edit. Thanks for the rewards all. I don't think I've gotten more than 100 likes or rewards before but please spend your money on other things. People are in need this holiday season. Dude. Freshman year. A junior accused the pay teacher of S sorely assaulting her after hours in the locker room. He was put on leave and eventually got off on a technicality. Senior year. There was a freak snowstorm in April. During which the quietest and nicest stoner in our class went missing. A day later they found his car in a ditch. And a week later when the snow melted. They found his body. He'd crashed and. In his presumed high F state. Gotten out to walk for help with no coat on. He eventually found a telephone pole and sat down against it to rest and was believed to have frozen to death in the storm. Seeing his mom at her only child's funeral still haunts me. The principal slept with a student and his nudes and SXTS were leaked. When I was in 5th grade. The male teacher I'd had in 4th grade was fired for helping a high school cheerleader undress. Looking back. He was a creeper. Edited to add. I was wrong. It was a 10 year old. Just found it. This happened between my sister and brother graduating. So it would have been 1996 or 1997. The HS Ag teacher started dating a student at some point. Everyone knew about it and the parents consented. Our HS was, and is, small enough to still participate in senior trips. And the AG teacher went along as a chaperone when his GF was a senior. They shared a hotel room. When I believe the student was still technically a 17 year old minor. At the time I remember my parents being rather put off by it. But they still hired the guy as a summer farm hand. I don't remember if he was fired or stepped down. But by the time I made it to HS we had a different ag teacher. They got married and had a child. Divorced maybe 5 or 10 years ago. Their kid goes to our HS now. I don't know why it wasn't a huge deal at the time. But no one really raised a stink or threatened to call the authorities. Today it feels like a case of grooming by a predatory farm boy. We had a computer teacher football assistant coach who was just blasted all day. Had so many DUIs he had to get rides to work. But was the cousin of the superintendent so he kept his job. Let's just say that when he crashed a student's car in the parking lot because he convinced them to let him borrow it that that was the beginning of the end of it. It was a small town. The scandal is that the super tried to cover it up by trying to convince the kid to take the heat for it. To no one's surprise. The kid was not convinced. They let him stay on a super for another two years. A kid in my senior year short story class who sat directly behind me, was charged with the stabbing. 
beheading and burning of one of his friends drug dealer. I remember the day like it was yesterday. Sitting in my short story class when my teacher came in. In tears because she just heard the news. Students didn't find out about it until later. I actually have a friend who testified in his trial because he purchased the murdering materials at the hardware store she worked at. Crazy. Man. One weekend a couple of kids from the hockey team had a sleepover. One of the older boys from high school targeted them. He tied them up. Arped them. Slit their throats and set the house on fire. One of the boys survived and is an incredible person. He's the chief of a fire department and has done motivational speaking. The murderer is now out on full parole. The 30-ish theater teacher ran off with a recent grad. I was kind of pals with the student during a play the spring before the scandal. And she hosted the cast party where in retrospect. They seemed a little cozier than appropriate. As much as I'm dying for the inside scoop. I can't imagine friending her on social media and asking so what was up with you and MR? Question mark? It has to be done if you want to know. The caretaker killed two local girls and hid them in the school. He tried using the clay kiln to burn them. Some highlights. 1. The chorus teacher got caught looking at Lolita PRN on his school computer. 2. This kid had nudes of his ex that his friend sent to a bunch of people in school. But he was 18 and she was 14 or 15. So he got expelled and I believe he was charged with distributing child pornography. We had a whole assembly because of it where the cops came and told us they could see everything on our phones. 3. A kid in my grade and another girl, same girl as in the story above. Actually, had sx in the bathroom. I learned about it from my band teacher. Band teacher spreading rumors FFS and Saria. My graphics teacher was married to my maths teacher. And one night he killed her during a domestic dispute. She was apparently having an affair and started taunting him about it in an argument while waving a fire poker at him. He grabbed it off her. Hit her over the head and killed her. He was sent to prison for manslaughter, not murder as the court accepted there was no premeditation. My mum was also a teacher at the school and friends with both of them so it had a big impact on my family as well as the school. Kid made a chlorine bomb and threw it in the trash can at lunch. Lockdown. Bomb squad. Every single kid and faculty member out on the field in 95 weather for 2 plus hours until parents could show up to pick up their kids. The lunch lady was having sx with students and buying them alcohol. My department lead allowed the baseball team to line up and she gave them all blow jobs. Happened years ago and confirmed by veteran co-workers I knew. Recently. Some of the boys that graduated years ago decided to inform the proper authorities. She was transferred to another school. Still works in the district. One of the students wrote his own fanfic with himself and some of the younger girls. A teacher had an affair with the students. She was arrested and released on bail. Then a few days later she sent an email to other teachers saying it wasn't an affair but that she was actually being uphead by the students and blackmailed. She even attached screenshots of texts. Later that day. She murdered her husband and committed suicide. Edit. Oh. This has really blown up. A few people have linked articles in the comments if you are curious. Merry Christmas everyone. I was in 4th or 5th grade and someone sketched in the middle school bathroom not to go on school Friday or I will bang bang. This was then brought to the attention of the county and state police and we didn't have school that day and the police searched everyone's lockers for a firearm. Edit. This was in Pennsylvania. First week of high school. Pay class. The first section was swim. Wasn't my class. But the class after. This kid was playing a game with his friends and the water Isaho could hold their breath the longest. He was going up for air and hit head on the pointy part of the gutter. And never made it to the surface. Friends didn't notice. Teacher didn't notice. Eventually football players coming back to the locker rooms noticed. He ended up dying. Teacher was fired although I wouldn't fully blame him as he was attending and teaching kids who didn't know how to swim or weren't strong swimmers. 
One adult for over 60 kids. Our football defense coordinator molested our ped a large number of young boys of a long period of time and no one did a thing about it. Probably the time a girl gave a guy a BJ in the bathroom. The guy filmed it and sent it to his friend. His friend sent all around the school. A girl in my middle school was telling people she had a hit list of people she was going to kill. Got caught with the list. And was sent to a hospital for a while. She came back a few years later in high school. Edit. Seems like a lot of people had a similar occurrence in school. This was in Michigan. I also had a hit list in middle school because I was a dumbass. It was a group of about 30 guys that would come to school and play a kind of tag game. If you were tagged during the day. You were assassinated and the game was over until the next day. My dumbass made a hit list with everyone's name on it. Needless to say this alerted the principal. Edit. We got a talking to. But we weren't in serious trouble. Physical education teacher hit the principal on the head because he protested the students being treated roughly during sports class. History teacher disappeared in the night with the French teacher's wife and the other French teacher made national news for s sorely abusing boys. A overachieving student in my year went nuts and pooped in a bag in a teacher's classroom. She also thought she could run up trees. Turns out she didn't end up skipping a few years and going to uni early like she was predicted to do. The balance of genius is on a very thin edge. Back in high school. The entire football team was almost expelled because one girl gave blowjobs to every single one of the players in the locker rooms. Supposedly they were all in a circle and the girl was just going around to each person. The kicker? The girl's brother was on the team. And he let it happen. Edit. Everyone's asking. But it's my understanding that the brother didn't partake in it. But he was effectively forcing her to not stop until she was done with everyone. The team ended up not getting in any major trouble. But the girl was suspended for a good minute. What a lovely brother. I assume he didn't get involved? This kid was taking his GCSEs, important exams in England until you get older and realize they mean duck all. Whilst at an exam some kids got onto his phone. Went onto his notes and found a 4000 word document consisting of his SZL fantasies with other girls in his year. Clearly paid attention in English as there was some clever wordplay egg. Comparing his cock to some world famous landmarks. The screenshots found their way into a lot of group chats, there were about 20 odd screenshots. To put into context how long it was, and it basically acted as a vag repellent for the rest of his time at the school. My high school guidance counselor ducked a science teacher's wife and everyone knew about it. They got a divorce. Both teachers still work at the same school to this day. And students will never ever let it go. The story has been handed down from year to year. Kids are brutal. During middle school a few kids sold weed and someone that bought some smoked it in the building which was just stupid. The kid that sold it to him didn't want to get in trouble so he pulled the fire alarm so people wouldn't find the kid. Honestly. That's some pretty quick thinking. Obviously not very responsible. Long story short the principal got arrested for hiding cameras in the bathroom this was back in elementary he was a total ducking creep. The Harlem Shake was a craze. We had an re-teacher who desperately enjoyed being the popular teacher so he got in on the craze. Invited 40 pupils from my year to his classroom at lunch and filmed his own Harlem Shake video, which in itself would have been against safeguarding rules. Thing is. He also taught SX ed. So everyone got into his cupboard before the start of the video for Cyprus. The video was essentially a group of 14 year olds throwing dildos and condoms around the room while he. Of his own accord. Grinded on a life size cut out of the poop. He was suspended under investigation for half a year but surprisingly kept his job. He was lot more professional when he returned. A video leaked of a girl ducking herself with a spatula. We called her spatula girl. Funny at the time. Makes me feel bad now. Edit. A girl died in the pool during an event at the school. The swim teacher was blamed and was prosecuted. 
The girl who died was at my sister's class. Both were 7 at the time. That happened over 10 years ago. But the parents haven't had another child since. She was their only kid. 3 come to mind. 1. Principal of the HS and director of athletics got caught embezzling money from the school to their bank accounts. They got caught after 50k went missing from the school's bank. 2. Bomb threat. Got set switched whenever we went in. Metal detectors. Bomb dogs. The works. 3. Couple kids invited an African American into their Twitter group called Golf Enners and were saying stuff like repeal the 13th to her. She tracked down the school and made a complaint. Made local news. Edit. My former high school got on the news for having a history teacher lie for 4 years about being a decorated war hero. Guy claimed to have not one. But two purple hearts. Among other things. And never even served a day in the military. Edit. I can't directly link to articles because of doxxing. But I'm sure you can find it on Google. Close bracket. But it gets juicier. The truth came out because his ex-wife exposed him. Sending evidence he was making it all up to local news stations in the school. Why'd she do it? The history teacher was having an affair with another teacher in my school. We had a lot of weird teachers at my school. But I think this story shows just how much the administration hardly vetted teachers. Like holy shit. We also had a guidance counselor get the boot for being a racist. But that's another story that didn't get as much publicity. When I was in third grade I believe. One of the principals at my school got arrested for disability fraud or something like that. Then when I was in the seventh grade. One of the teachers got arrested for being a pedophile. Some dude with a tiny little pecker sent a picture of it, unsolicited, to a girl. And she sent it to all his friends. Wasn't long before like half the school had seen it. A male science teacher and female pay teacher divorced, not sure if they just broke up, after she apparently cheated on him with a student. A girl gave a guy a BJ behind a building. Her braces got stuck on his DCK. He pulls back. DCK bleeding. Punches her in the mouth. She goes and tells the principal. Parents get called in. He yells she cut my DCK. While the door was open. Everyone knew then. We had a few. Some standouts. Student hid a pregnancy from her parents. She ended up giving birth at home and killed the baby. Teacher S. Suley harassed students. Students engaged in S. Zulax at the nearby church, where all our masses occurred, and we, the student body, were then banned for having our masses at the church. Edit. A few people are mentioning some cheerleader who had been on the news. This was the early 2000s. It did not have news coverage, didn't even go beyond our school. And our school did not have cheerleaders. Edit 2. This was in Canada. Edit 3. I've learned through this thread that this is not an uncommon occurrence. And my heart hurts. My religion teacher was relocated after rumors spread that he sexually harassed a female student and hit a male student. I never found out if those rumors were true but I mean there had to be something because teachers don't just get relocated in the middle of a school year. He was an ass. I wouldn't put it past him. In Germany it's super hard to get fired as a teacher. I think you'd need a prison sentence to actually get fired. When in middle school. The school forced us to give our phones to the vice principal. And they would stay there locked during the day. They got stolen. Around 120 smartphones edit. This locking up can backfire. One year we got together and all agreed to set an alarm on our phones for the same time. At max volume. After that they just said the phones had to be turned off. Though. Was my favorite science teacher. One of the female gym teachers at my HS got arrested for doing drugs on campus. Some of my classmates were drug dealers and or drug addicts. They smoked or whatever they did with their drugs in the school and were therefore high during lessons. You would think they just got caught smoking in school or being high but nope. One of the drug dealers decided to sell drugs exactly under a police's camera. 
The police saw him. Found him and he proceeded to tell the name of every single person involved. The dealers. The clients and even completely innocent people. This happened in the second last year of high school but the clients were not only from my year but even younger. Like 14 years olds. The school was all over the news and the teachers did not trust us students for a very long time. Some just stopped completely and never did again. Reading these and I think the scandals that happened at my school are minor in comparison. The ones I know of were. A kid was busted having into the system trying to change his grades. I think there was a claim of computer addiction. But he wasn't allowed on a school computer for the rest of his time at the high school. A teacher was known for trying to pick fights with students. I called out his bullshit and he was given a slap on the wrist but he didn't try it again after that. There was a student who was accused of having a bomb that was a complete fabrication. Outcome was ridiculously blown out of proportion. The guy was a bit of an outsider and had made a duct tape top hat. Someone made a sarcastic comment about him smuggling a bomb in it. He responded in same level of sarcasm. Which one? When the history teacher got fired for watching PRN on his desk computer between classes. Or the Spanish teacher who walked out of class because these two kids were being so horribly racist to her and they didn't even get detention. Or the girl whose best friends made her hide stolen stuff in her purse and they all got caught and let her take the fall. So she tried to kill herself in the girl's bathroom. Or the time two special needs students were caught having a sex in the upstairs boy's bathroom. Or the time a second history teacher was fired the next year for exchanging 75k SXTS with one of the students over 7 months. I lived in a town with 2500 people. Sophomore year a girl in my grade passed on a solid yellow upper hill. Hit a family in a car and killed both parents and one of the kids. A week later she's back at school in a brand new pickup truck. And never faced any sort of trial or anything. Her parents were extremely large farmers in the small rural town and had influence in the local court systems I'm sure. Oh did I mention she excitedly showed off her new truck when she came back? Duck you. Taylor.